The clock was ticking, I had just 10 minutes to ethically hack a website, and everything was on the line. This wasn't some Hollywood movie, it was real life. I was using my skills as a certified ethical hacker to identify vulnerabilities and ensure they were patched before someone malicious could exploit them. The twist. This wasn't just any website, it was a WordPress site, a platform powering nearly 40% of the internet. That popularity made it a hacker's dream and a security nightmare, which is why today I am walking you through how I legally hacked into a site and secured it using WPScan. Buckle up, this is going to get exciting. Before we dive in, hacking without consent is illegal. Don't do it. What I'm sharing is about ethical hacking. I had full permission to test this website. So here's how it started. I stumbled upon a WordPress site that seemed to have a few loose bolts. After getting the green light from the owner, I decided to test its defenses. To do that, I turned to WPScan, a tool that's like a flashlight for WordPress vulnerabilities. It scans for outdated plugins, weak configurations, and more. And the best part? It's free, open source, and trusted by cybersecurity pros everywhere. WordPress might be a fantastic platform, but its popularity comes with a catch. It's a huge target for hackers. With so many plugins and themes, all it takes is one one outdated component or a reused password to leave the back door wide open. That's why WPScan is such a powerful tool. It's like your personal Sherlock Holmes, hunting down weaknesses so you can fix them before anyone else finds them. Getting WPScan up and running was as smooth as butter. On my Linux machine, I updated the package lists, installed the essentials like curl and Ruby tools, and cloned WPScan from GitHub. After a few commands, I had the tool ready to go. If you're intimidated by the terminal, don't be. It's like following a recipe, one command at a time. When I ran my first scan, it didn't take long for vulnerabilities to pop up. Outdated plugins, weak configurations. The scan even pointed out a reflected cross-site scripting XSS vulnerability, which could have been exploited to inject malicious scripts. That's the kind of flaw attackers love. But instead of sitting back, I documented everything, contacted the site owner, and walked them through how to patch it. The vulnerability was fixed in no time, and that moment, knowing I helped secure a website, was pure satisfaction. Now here's where you come in. If you've ever dreamed of doing this, finding vulnerabilities, making the internet safer, and building a career in ethical hacking, then you need to check out my web hacking course at Cyberflows Academy. This isn't some generic watch and forget course. I teach you the exact strategies, tools, and methodologies I use, including deep dives into tools like WPScan. Plus, I'll show you how to think like a hacker, approach real-world scenarios, and actually land opportunities in this field. Cyberflows Academy isn't just about learning, it's a community. You'll get exclusive access to my private Discord server, where you can ask me anything and collaborate with like-minded hackers. And trust me, I share the kind of insights and techniques on there that I'd never risk putting on YouTube. It's raw, unfiltered, and built to make you better. So if you're serious about hacking the right way and building a future in cybersecurity, the Academy is where you want to be. Right off the bat, I noticed that some plugins were outdated, which is a common vulnerability in WordPress sites. Outdated plugins often have known security flaws that attackers can exploit, and this website was no exception. But I wasn't done yet. To dig deeper, I registered for a free API key on the WPScan website, which unlocked advanced scanning capabilities. Using the dash E flag, I ran a full vulnerability assessment, and the results were eye-opening. Beyond outdated plugins, I found weak configurations that could potentially be exploited. One specific vulnerability stood out a reflected cross-site scripting XSS flaw. This type of vulnerability allows attackers to inject malicious scripts into a website, potentially stealing user data or redirecting visitors to harmful sites. I immediately documented the details and contacted the website owner. They patched the vulnerability quickly, ensuring their users' safety. In this case, the outdated plugins and weak configurations were a direct result of the website owner not keeping up with security best practices. By stepping in, I was able to turn a potential dangerous situation into a learning opportunity for everyone involved. If you're wondering how you can get started with ethical hacking, tools like WPScan are a great place to begin. They're easy to use, incredibly powerful, and designed to help you uncover vulnerabilities ethically. But remember, this work requires patience, attention to detail, and a deep commitment to doing what's right. If you want to learn more about tools like WPScan, ethical hacking methodologies, or how to take your skills to the next level, I've got plenty of resources waiting for you.